But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord, but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. Sign this contract. Lives of others. And generation upon generation followed in these footsteps. <coughs> <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors, and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force, she said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away, just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patience? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Chang Sheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum, which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them or balance their chi, I can never save them. And you? What's your answer? If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? Hmm. I suppose I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends, and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me.